Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Hardy of Hardy's Corporate Fiction. How are you guys doing this evening? Happy Wednesday to all of you. Um, today, we're going to let, take a, a look at a couple of videos, but I first want to update you on some breaking news that I covered on Monday. As you guys know, um, I broke the news that the wife of noted soft sick guru, uh, David Lester Strait, um, Bonnie Allen Strait was hooked up by uh, hooked up in Johnson County, Texas, on a couple of charges. One was uh, burning, um, unlawful burning, uh, assault on a peace officer or judge, and uh, carrying an unlawful hand, uh, carrying a gun in an um, carrying a gun in an. Um, Unlawfully carrying a gun on a, a certain premises. I can't remember the exact details. But hey, guys, how you doing? Uh, um, but um, how you doing, Brad? Oleg, right up yours. Woodwork, Whiskey, Foster, Cat in Virginia. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so the other breaking news that I found out last night, and I posted it in the community tab, is that David himself was also hooked up. Uh, that same evening, after apparently, allegedly, after visiting his wife in jail, he was hooked up by the local police and got the right to travel uh, combo of no license, no uh, no license, expired registration, no insurance, and imp um, improper tags. So, uh, since then, the uh, David has been uh, bailed out. He, he or he bonded out. But Bonnie, as of uh, as far as I know, she's still inside. So that is the big uh, bit of news for you guys. And I think it's going to be an interesting ride, especially when I see in Telegram in the Telegram group that I'm uh, part of. Let me see here. I uh, want to make sure I got this. Okay, good. Uh, the Telegram group that I'm a part of are they're kind of losing their minds, but. What I also found out is that there's there's a little bit more drama happening. There's apparently like infighting amongst the sovereign citizen groups. Notably, there is a rift between David and Bonnie Strait and the Republic of Texas. So here's the article from Vice uh, that highlighted this. That. And here's here's the excerpt. A far right grifter who makes hundreds of thousands of dollars selling fake license plates and hosting seminars that specifically tell people they won't be arrested if they followed his rules was himself arrested and jailed for not displaying a real license plate. Strait was arrested Monday in Texas for driving without a license um, and not properly displaying pl displaying plates. Despite his position as one of America's most influential promoters of the baseless soft sit ideology, which claims that people can declare themselves independent and not subject to a country's laws. Straits arrest is still raising serious questions within his community after he previously claimed that those who followed his beliefs would be placed on a do not detain list. But within hours, he was already leveraging his arrest to take even more money from his army followers. It's true. He was uh, freed on $1,200 bond. That's right. And Strait has been spent has spent years promoting his brand of the soft sit ideology called the American State National. It is $150 per seat seminars he holds across the country. The core belief of this movie that citizens can circumvent U.S. law by using archaic phrases and pseudo legal court filings, allowing them to avoid paying taxes, claim land that doesn't that doesn't belong to them, and drive without a license. He still sells fake license plates for a non-existent Republic of Texas. This grift has led to infighting within the soft sick community. At one seminar, Strait specifically told attendees that if they were pulled over, they would not have to show their driver's license. He even claimed that supporters who followed advice would be placed on a do not detain list so that they would never have to go to jail. Isn't he on a do not detain list? One member of Strait's usually popular Telegram channel asked on Tuesday, how are they able to arrest him? I'm just curious how he gets arrested. I did see, I saw that very message in the Telegram group. And also this one, too. How could they arrest him? According to him, he's untouchable. So much for the do not arrest, do not detain list. They stamp on their own passports, referring to the bogus document straight issues to his followers. But others, defending straight, said the police would not have would not have known who straight was because he didn't have a license. And now they will 
they will have to pay the price. But if he's but if he was on the do not detain list, he doesn't have to have a license for the cops to identify him. The cops would just simply look up his name and see, oh, he's on the do not detain list and have a nice day, right? Anyway. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office wrote on its Facebook page that Alan um, Bonnie was arrested at the uh, Gwynn Justice Center for an outstanding warrant. She resisted arrest and uh, assaulted a couple of deputies. She was also booked uh, on a, the original charge, which relates to bringing uh, a firearm into a courthouse in 2015. The arrest of Strait and his wife sent shockwaves to the South State community, and almost immediately, his more ardent followers sought to frame the arrest as a way to pair for the pair to earn even more money from the followers. One of Strait's closest allies, Bobby Lawrence, is another high-profile soft sit promoter, posted a telegram message with Strait's smiling mugshot claiming he was going to get paid a huge check for this. So this is about the arrest, but this is the infighting from the Daily Beast. Again, Vice and Daily Beast, they uh, they they obviously have a um, a certain ideal ideological oh you just pay a walled me you punks either way well i can just show you guys from the horse's mouth so here's the tell here are the telegram groups and i'm going to download these uh copies here download 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 Let me see if I can sh make sure I can show you guys this. This is March 16th. And this is, ah, here we go. And I'm going to, I need to share this, share this to you guys. One second here. Not showing. Why not? Why are you not showing? This is rude. Extremely rude. Crap. Hang on. I know I'm able to show the showcase this guys for you guys for y'all. Um, but it paint. It's gonna be really cringy to look at, but it's better than nothing. There we go. That's good enough. Um. So this is the first e uh, letter that he got from the president of the Republic of Texas. President. To Les David Lester Strait, commander of the Texian Rangers, Republic of, Ste uh, Republic of Texas. Yes, they, all, they have their own Texas Rangers. In light of your commitment to be involved in the production and sale of license plate, classes mandated to teach each traveler how to defend themselves against LEO, when they are detained along the roadways and other actions, known or unknown, in my opinion, the Republic and the people of the Republic of Texas are more secure and better served by your removal from office. Your endeavors are not sanctioned or supported by the Republic of Texas. Therefore, your appointment to the, the office of the commander of the Texian Rangers of the Republic of Texas is immediately terminated uh, this date, March 16th, by the order of the president of the Republic of Texas. These guys are committed to the LARPing bit. They they think that they are operating a, a sovereign nation. <laughs> yeah. There, I think this is the other page. Yeah. And then this one is uh 
Okay, this one is uh um this is an updated um letter that he sent to Straight. On March 16th, your um appointments to office were terminated and you were noticed that your nevers are not sanctioned or supported by the Republic of Texas. It's come to my attention that your latest David Straight conference as evidence in your application form. You've taken it upon yourself to, to alter the limited Texian ID app card application with it, with it claiming to provide a way for someone to live in another country and have rights to vote and hold office in the Republic of Texas after six months. This is a de direct conflict with the Constitution and laws of the Republic of Texas. The affidavit or declaration clearly states that one must live on the land of Texas for a period of six months before making an application to become a Texian. You do not have the authority to change the status of one that is a foreigner to that of a Texian living on the land by six months. By the purchase of a portion of land. Yes, a fake a fake organization has ousted a fake officer of said organization. Yes, and that they have violated their fake laws and fake constitution. What you do with your land is your business. You do not have, however, have the authority to bring the Republic of Texas into any contract with which you may conceive. The IR, do they, so they're, 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 they're aware enough to know when somebody is violating their fake laws, but they're, they maintain that they don't have to follow the actual laws or whatever. Yeah. <sighs> you, uh, you're not high contracting parties, nor can you bind the, uh, I, th I assume I have the next page. Um, Republic of Texas in any contract unilateral, your actions are clearly divisive, deceptive, and with the intent to rich yourselves at the expense of the uniformed patriots and conspicuous disregard of the laws of the Republic of Texas. You are ordered to cease and desist. So, <laughs> by the president, the secretary of state, so, <laughs> these guys who are LARPing, even they are aware of David and Bonnie's uh, scammer grift act. Goodness. It's, it's comedy. And I did watch, uh, somebody linked to me a video of their most recent, um, hearing about Bonnie and David Strait on April 8th. I, I don't feel like showing it cause it's kind of boring. It really is kind of boring, but they are in full on like LARP mode. Um, it's like watching, you know, middle school students do the model UN thing. But that's the that, that's the big part. So I'll obviously will uh, let you guys know later on um, as we go along. Any updates um, with Bonnie and David Strait? Um, what their actions are, what's going to happen um, as they go along in the process. But I'm going to be following these two cases very closely and also following the reactions and the, um, the comments in the Telegram channel. Because again, the fact that David was hooked up and arrested flies completely in the face of what he's been teaching up until this point. It's a complete uh, contradiction where he guarantees his viewers and followers that they will never have to be arrested. They don't have to have any, um, uh, any license or registration or insurance and what have you, and they will never be arrested. So I'm very curious to see how this plays out. So.